okay so continuing from where we have left uh, we have uh, defined the uh, load cases right going to the define and uh, load cases here uh, you have uh, uh, just modified the model uh, see you have defined that ux ui and you have linked them all okay uh, in the rates factors and uh, all things you have defined you said okay now coming to add new load case now you are uh, uh, coming to define a new load case first give it a name let's suppose i am giving it a name gravity or grav okay right away uh, load case type is uh, time history it's not a static so everything is changed now analysis type i am selecting non-linear time history type is model time history motion type is transient now okay i am starting from zero initial conditions because there is nothing done before it okay you are getting my point so uh, the uh, use modes from case model and here uh, load pattern which is dead and uh, i am defining uh, this function over here and selecting add okay here the number of outputs 100 keep it the same the output time step size 0.1 keep it the same everything should be left same and uh, i have to select okay so now i have to find uh, one load case okay which i have named as grav now i am going to define a new load case over here in this load case repeat the steps as uh, i have shown you for example uh, over here change the name for example l a c make it uh, time history okay mm. let's sorry why i am just moving okay in time history again select non-linear uh, i am using the model type the transient motion type and over here now you don't need to uh, start from the zero initial condition because the model will start from zero initial condition from the fourth g r a v the gravity condition that we have defined previously now we will continue and uh, from where we will continue it says we will continue from c g r a v right you are getting it i hope you are getting it now in the uh, load applied uh, uh window or this section you just uh, type uh, the u acceleration okay and select u1 i hope you have uh, you are uh, getting me and it's not that much difficult okay so for that u1 uh, if you remember that uh, in first direction we had defined LACC 0 right so our function is okay we are just adding this okay so right over here uh, I had to made some changes what were those changes for example I want to modify this and I want to make it as a 0 0.0328 now please keep in mind that this is your assignment it is a very simple thing why i have uh, made this change 0 0.0328 and uh, when i was teaching this to the patch 3 uh, uh, they had figured it out right away in the class and uh, i want you people also to learn it that uh, why i am putting it 0.03 to it okay and all it has to do with the units and uh, nothing like uh, rocket science so i am giving you a clue as well so i have modified it 
and uh, here is the case and the number of output you remember we have let it 100 uh, for the gravity load case over here make it 3000 and the step size is uh, um, let's say 0 0.2 okay now in the other parameters uh, you can also make some changes in the other parameters as well for example in uh, uh, model damping when you click on modify show so it will gives you different values for example in uh, uh, all modes for example where is the constant damping of for all modes here it is 0 0.05 okay if this is 0 0.05 keep it if it's different then make it 0 0.05 okay in the model damping or rights area right over here okay so mode 1 right and the damping should be 0 0.02 now what are these terms uh, you have to take the dynamic course because all these terminologies are related with the dynamics of the structures and i cannot explain in this very lecture each and every term but I can show you uh, what these uh, things need to be in order to run the time history analysis. Okay, so I, I am sorry that I cannot explain each and every term here because it needs a lot of explanation. You have to uh, take the course of dynamics if you want and learn these things over here. Oh, not over here, but over there. <laughs> there is a difference between here and there, right? okay so moving forward and uh, uh, we have kept it okay select uh, add right and uh, uh, if you, you click it it's added now where let's see okay it's uh, going to the mode 2 and uh, keeping the damping value as same and select at similarly for the mode 3 make it the same right so now click the ok button and you are again in the previous window now click the ok button and click the ok button ok before clicking ok button just uh, look at over here you have defined the lo dead load, the live load, the model, the gravity case where non-linear model history will run, the uh, time history you have defined, which will start from the GRAV. Okay, so click OK. Now you have clicked OK. Go to the run analysis. Okay, wait a minute okay it is uh, let me save the model first mm, i would like to save it to uh, let's say in the documents is there any sap folder now make a sap folder i think i had first sap you can give it sap 2000 okay this is our first class after the lockdown first online class so i have saved the model now i will run the analysis okay over here you can see all these cases right now there is no need to select a case and uh, select run or do not run now you have to run all these cases okay for time history analysis you are getting my point so just click run now and let's see what happens see the analysis is put on so 
so what it says analysis complete right you, if you want to check you can check the results the details see the reads model analysis you remember the model that you selected okay so how much time uh, do we left okay so the analysis is done and now we are interested in some outputs what kind of results do we want depends on uh, what we are interested in for example select the the, the middle uh, support and uh, move forward or move upward on the top floor and select the same point okay so here you have selected this point and the same uh, uh, point at the elevation of zero feet now going to the display menu okay and uh, here you have got different uh, options i am interested in show plot functions now this uh, show plot functions there are uh, different options for you uh, you have select from gravity lse i am interested in lse i will highlight joint 13 okay and uh, for uh, uh, joint 13 or uh, before going to the joint 13 let me go to the define plot function now in define plot function highlight joint 13 okay and uh, click on the modify show function here uh, make sure that the work vector type is displacement see you can select velocity acceleration reaction absolute displacement velocity acceleration all of them i am right now i'm interested in displacement you can go for any of them and the component i'm interested in ui ui let's suppose okay click okay uh, make the same for the uh, joint 15 displacement and ui okay click okay so now uh, joint 13 and joint 15 both of them uh, have been modified for ui <coughs> now in the choose function type uh, here uh, i want i am interested in for example if you are interested in load function energy function i am interested in base shear so i am going for the base function okay uh, over here uh, i have selected uh, what add base function and now click this button add plot function in add plot function just click base shear y because you remember i have selected u y in previous joint 13 and 15 okay so click ok button see now i have got joint 13 joint 15 and base shear y and click ok button now in this uh, uh, plot function trace display definition in this form just click on joint 13 uh, press the control key and select joint 15 okay uh, you have uh, selected a joint 13 and 15 and simple add it so you have added both of them to the uh, vertical function list okay now click on this uh, show see ui is selected uh, for joint 13 and same is selected so you have verified it right now click on the display for various time histories so you won't notice uh, 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 any big difference there is a very little difference between the first and uh, roof level displacements okay so it's uh, essentially moving as a rigid body right click the ok button 
and uh, okay so uh, now click on join 15 here is your join 15 right <coughs> and uh, again hold on the uh, control key and click on join 13 you have selected both of them just press the button remove button okay now click on base share y right you have highlighted it and click the add button you have added it to the vertical function list right and uh, right here see there is a uh, pane which says horizontal plot function select joint 13 okay you have selected joint 13 here and base share y now click on display oh again there is nothing so it is not giving uh, any observable values okay mm, just don't bother yourself and uh, mm, i have removed joint 13 1 and 15 1 from here okay you can just go over here select anything and you can delete plot function right now uh, this is the um, method how you can uh, run the time history analysis and then how you can uh, go to the display right and uh, show plot functions and you can uh, uh, for example from define plot function you can go for anything uh, for example in base function you can go for for anything for example base share in any direction okay so uh, this is the method and uh, i hope you have learned something and uh, the next assignment will be based on time history analysis so go through this lecture again and again if you have any problem then we can discuss it okay take care and good luck